Hey there everyone, this is Danielle taking a look at ABBA in Guilty Gear Strive. Uh, she's just dropped yesterday. Uh, I would have looked yesterday, but I had some other stuff going on, couldn't record, so let's have a look now. <laughs> uh, as you know, I usually like to, as you, as you might know, I don't know if you've seen previous character videos, but I like to do a little bit of a slideshow and sort of explain the character to you when a returning character shows up in this game, but with ABBA it's a little bit different because in a sense, this is kind of her first game. Uh, I'll, I'll try to elaborate. Um, I'll try to explain what I mean. Uh, so basically, ABBA was first introduced in the spin-off game, Guilty Gear Isaka. Uh, oops. There we are. There she is. Uh, for the PlayStation 2, uh, which was trying to do a little bit of a beat-em-up kind of thing. You had a button to turn around and you could have multiple, like, opponents rather than just one-on-one -on -one and stuff like that. Uh, those mechanics were a little bit janky and people didn't super love it, but they liked her as a character. Uh, you can see she's really cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, so she came, she was introduced in the spin-off title. Uh, according to Apocrypha, <laughs> uh, she was suggested by, uh, by Mori, uh, the Blaze, the Blaze Blue guy, uh, Mori Toshimichi. I don't know Blaze Blue nearly as well, so I had to check his name just then. Um, he basically said, hey, we should add this new character. I've got this idea for this this old man uh, that you could add to the Guilty Gear roster. Um, and then he came back a little bit later and was like, hey, what happened to that old man I suggested? And the rest of the team were just sort of like, oh, yeah, this is her. She's, she's, a, she's a weird girl now. <laughs> Again, completely apocryphal, but I mean, that's kind of very Guilty Gear, so I like to think that's true. <laughs> Anyway, uh, this is her original design in Isika. Uh, they more or less stuck with this for a little while. Uh, well, mo for most of her games, really. Uh, I'll step through and show you how she looked in a few different games, but... Yeah, so Isika was a spin-off. It wasn't part of the main storyline. Uh, and that's where we met her. She was... Uh, basically, she's a homunculus. Like, a person created through alchemy. Uh, which isn't really a main thing in the Guilty Gear setting. It's not like Grand Blue, where alchemy's just, like, a major thing. Uh, but yeah, she's artificially created, and the alchemist who made her was then recruited by the post war Administration Bureau. Uh, so when she was, you know, when she woke up, she was all alone in this, like, big alchemy lab or whatever, and just completely lost. And just this new form of life with no idea what's going on. Um, it, it is a little bit like Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, if you think about it. <laughs> With the whole, you know, creator abandoning his creation kind of thing. Uh, but anyway, uh, so she was basically locked in a house with no idea what the outside world was like for 10 years, I believe. And she developed an obsession with collecting keys uh, because they symbolized, like, freedom and an escape from her kind of voluntary imprisonment. She could go outside, but she didn't know what to do outside because she had no idea what the world was about. Um, so yeah, like, she, she got obsessed with collecting keys, just really autistically, and then she met Flament Nigel, uh, who is a demon battle axe who happens to look a lot like a key. <laughs> He's the, um, golden one in the background there. Um, and basically, yeah, she was like, oh shit, that's a key, and fell in love with him. <laughs> uh, and she renamed him Paracelsus, for some reason. His actual name is Flament Nigel, but, you know, whatever. Um, and yeah, so she fights alongside her husband, who is a giant battle axe that she thinks is a key. <laughs> uh, it's very silly. Anyway, um, so yeah, her first game was Isaka, which didn't really say any of that. It was all just like in her bio biography and stuff. She was just kind of there. Uh, but then she was, you know, a pretty popular design. So when they started making new releases of Guilty Gear XX, um, starting with Slash, uh, she was just added in as a playable character. But Slash, uh, in Slash she looked like, oh sorry, this is Isaka again, you can see it's got the main cast, uh, being the main cast and all that, yep. Uh, this is what she looked like in Slash, essentially the same design, she's got, you know, a bit of a gremlin face going on. Paracelsus looks a bit angrier. <laughs> uh, and then, and, and so yeah, Slash didn't have any kind of story mode, um, Basically, the main, like, crew working on Guilty Gear 
were happy with the previous version, which was Guilty Gear XX slash Reload. Uh, sorry, not slash Reload. Um, Sharp Reload. <laughs> uh, and they didn't really want to make another version after that. So Slash was kind of unintentional uh, and was sort of made partly just because um, you may be familiar with the fact that Guilty Gear's copyright was taken away from Arxis for a while uh, to do with some distribution issues and stuff like that. And so a couple more games got made they didn't really intend to make because they already felt they'd made the best version of Guilty Gear XX when they made Sharp Reload. Uh, but yeah, so Slash was released, included her. It also included the um, Holy Order version of Soul Bad Guy. Uh, he was introduced in there too, so he's kind of more canon because Soul did fight during with the Holy Order um, back like back back in the day. But like the whole time travel thing and all that, that's just that's just made up. <laughs> okay, um, and then because she was in the game now, when they made the next version of Guilty Gear XX, which also wasn't really wanted from the main team uh because yeah they were happy with sharp reload uh she was included in accent core as well uh and she looked like this and accent core did have a story mode uh that not a lot of people liked <laughs> accent core story mode has like a good ending and a bad ending for every character and the bad endings are painfully grimdark and edgy and not guilty gear uh if that makes sense Honestly, in Abba's case, the good ending is also like that. She's just really not very, not written very sympathetically or well <laughs> in Accent Core. Um, but yeah, um, for example, in Malia's ending, she accidentally murders Bridget. She loses control of her curse and kills Bridget and then gets murdered by one of her admirers and bleeds out. Uh, and Testament burns to death with their forest. Dizzy gets kidnapped in like this really uncomfortable violating scene where the peer webs take control of her body and it's it's written really tr really creepy traumatically kind of thing uh but yeah accent core story mode people don't like it it's not good <laughs> but ab has two endings uh basically she's trying to find a way to give paracelsus his own like humanoid body like she has uh and so in the good ending the good ending quote unquote <laughs> uh she succeeds uh and turns him into this guy uh and is very abusive and possessive toward him and it's very uncomfortable and that's just the ending <laughs> uh and that's the good one apparently <laughs> in the bad ending uh he gets turned into robokai's head uh paracelsus is in that head now um, and that's bad because she didn't want him to be Robokai's head. She wanted him to be a person. <laughs> um, Accent Core is kind of, kind of dumb. <laughs> but yeah, neither of those things actually happened, uh, because they're both in Accent Core story mode, and that means that they're just like a guide in story almost, it just isn't related to anything. Uh, we also saw Abba in Accent Core as part of this adorable, adorable little, uh, drawing. Of all the Guilty Gear girls in the game just having a beach day together. Including Bridget, because they already knew back then. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is probably the best ending that Abra and Paracelsus could have hoped for. Even though this is literally not part of the story at all, it's just a random illustration. Uh, until now. So, yeah, Slash... So Isika was a spin-off, Slash was an updated version with no story, Accent Core was an updated version with a story mode no one liked that wasn't supposed to be canon. So, essentially Abba hasn't been in the game until just now, because she has been added to Strive. She looks a little bit different, uh, a little greener. <laughs> but yeah, this is essentially her first actual game, despite having all that history. Um, which is weird. <laughs> Um, and I'm gonna see how she plays. I've heard she plays pretty similarly to her Accent Core Plus R iteration. Uh, I haven't actually played her in particular in Plus R, so I don't know exactly what to expect. Uh, but we're just gonna jump in and see how she plays. <laughs> Probably gonna go through her arcade mode if we, if I'm not terrible. Uh, and that's about it. <laughs> uh, I just sort of rambled there for a few minutes. I hope that's fine. 
Uh, let's go into training mode. Hey, Bridget. Uh, there she is. I've heard her theme is really good. I haven't had a chance to listen to it yet, but I am looking forward to that. Uh, we'll go through her colors real quick. Her default one is just, yeah, the one we saw on the illustration there. Color 2 is obviously a reference to how she looked in the previous games with the red hair. Uh, then you've got, you know, a bunch of other fun color schemes. I don't think these are referencing anything in particular, but... Yeah, you can you can have a uh, Paracelsus look extra spooky if you want. You can have Paracelsus.exe. <laughs> of course, color 12 is again just like front lines, as it is for everyone. Yeah, a bunch of color. We'll just go with 12 out, but that's fine. Uh, and yeah, we'll just put her against Kai. So yeah, um, we're just gonna have a little look at how our moves work first, and then once we've tested that out, I'll check out the arcade mode and see how she plays. Oh yeah, I'm using one of these. I don't think it really matters that much, but while we're waiting for the load, I might as well show you. <laughs> Oh, hi, you're moving. Uh, I'm just gonna tell you to stop that. Uh, will I have a look here? Okay. Okay, he is really, really slow. Wow, look at this. Dragging her key around. That's running. Even running, she is really slow. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Uh, let's look at some buttons. The crouch is kind of... I don't know if Paracelsus counts as a hitbox? <laughs> because, like, she's not really get losing any height when she crouches. Hmm. Anyway, uh, that's a punch. Punch. Kick. Uh, slash. Close slash is that. She slashes down with Paracelsus. Fire slash is this. Okay. Uh, a heavy slash. Yeah, she just swings him like that. Okay. Stick key. <laughs> Bop him. Bop him with the key head. Oh, okay, so she has separate 5H and 6H, cool, uh, what about crouching? Oh, like a lot of, like, um, like Elfo and like Johnny, her 2H makes her move forward a little bit. Seems like that's a thing they've just been going with for the more recent characters. So I believe part of how this part of how this works uh, is let me check the dust. Yet. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's in a basic move. Part of how Abba works, I believe, is that it's kind of hard to see under the input display, but there's like a gauge there that fills up, uh, and she goes into like an install state uh, based on how much gauge she's got. Uh, yeah, the command null is already found. Jealous rage. Attack. Okay. Okay, it looks like a grab, but that is not a grab according to this. Move only becomes available. Oh, okay, so you can't use it unless the gauge is full enough. Okay. Movement technique? Oh. Oh, okay. So you can zip through attacks with like Engine strike attack. Okay, so both of her K specials let you evade low attacks. Oh, and she's got a follow up? Bump, bump. Oh, I like that. The moves that can withstand attacks from the opponent. Okay, so she has armor when she uses that. Okay. So it's like a parry sort of thing that lets her increase her jealousy. Um, oh, I like that. And that's on her Dragon Punch input? Okay. okay. This is her theme playing in the background, by the way. I'm just trying to learn the character here. <laughs> I'll have to listen to it separately. It's usually better for me to do it that way. Um, okay, so she's got... Ooh. Okay. So her inputs are pretty standard. There's nothing too out of the ordinary here. No charge inputs or anything. Danger. Uh -huh. 
Okay, look at that. He's much faster when she doing the super. Then she's slow again. Okay, so yeah. From what I understand, basically the premise here is that Abbe is incredibly weak uh, in her normal state. Uh, she's very, very slow. Uh, and she's just like pretty much a bad character. Uh, but if you can land you can land her install uh, and get her into her install state, she becomes incredibly powerful. So it's about like negotiating between those two states. Also, yeah, I have it set with telephone books, I was practicing some other stuff. <laughs> Alright, um. What's a sweep look like? Yeah, that's pretty long, I like that. I like the range on that. So. Again. Okay, back into S. Okay. She just sort of hides behind Paracelsus for a second. That makes sense. Okay. Oh, I should look at what her wild assault looks like. Yeah. It, it works the same as everyone else's, save for the color. There are a couple of different versions. But, yeah. I like to see what it looks like. Oh, what about a grab? Hang on. Oh, I like that. <laughs> That's fun. Okay. <clears throat> oh, yeah, my throat's a bit. Ugh. <clears throat> Ugh. Sorry about that. <laughs> Let's um switch over to actual gameplay and just just give her a whirl. I haven't like learned her move set or anything, but. We'll just, we'll just give it a try and see what happens. <laughs> oh, also, I didn't mention, her name is a reference to, you know, the ABBA, the band, the, the ones who do Dancing Queen and stuff. Um, but it's also probably a reference to blood types, because, you know, type A, type B, that kind of thing. Uh, because, yeah, she has a bit of a blood focus. <laughs> Um, let's dive in and have a look. Estimate? Okay. Okay. Interesting. I feel like I'm probably not equipped to, like, do super well here, but we'll give it a shot. Because, <laughs> yeah, this is one of the more complicated characters, and it doesn't seem like I can quite improvise how to play, so like I can with some of the other more complicated characters. <laughs> Mankind knew that they cannot change society. I believe this is the new stage, by the way. Reflecting on themselves. Uh, that was also added. It's really pretty. stop it! Oh yeah, Paracelsus sounds like a talking flower from Mario Wonder. It's really funny. <laughs> A key may fit when people don't. Abba versus. Oh, by the way, this is Abba's first game where she has an English voice actor. Uh, because the old games just didn't have a dub. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know how to fight it, though. <laughs> it's like air dashing is the best way to get around because walking is so damn slow. <laughs> I assume the moves that say you can do them when a certain amount of the gauge is full means that little line on the gauge. I already forgot which ones those are though. <laughs> Wow. 
Alright, I'll be on normal difficulty. That's not a problem. I don't know how to play ABBA. <laughs> yeah, I think it's supposed to use the, um, the K specials to move around rather than walking. Uh, because that lets you dodge attacks and stuff. Okay, that's a win, but I still go on normal because I lost a round. Whatever may come, our love is eternal, isn't it, dear? I hate to admit, it hardly seems worth asking for help at this point. I've been meaning to ask, what is your relationship exactly? Nothing we need you to understand. I see. Then I won't pry further. Hey, Bridget. I'm really curious what this arcade mode is about, based on what I'm seeing here. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So of course, on normal, I'm only going to get more story in stage eight. I guess we'll see. Whoa! Get a grip, will you? Hey, Bridget. Get ready to apply. Okay, hi. You think that will lead my Paracelsus astray? Abba. Abba. Versus Bridget. Bridget. Duel one. Apply. Let's rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think her weakness is probably zoning her out. Bridget is normally good at, but I'm on like the low difficulty, so it's probably not gonna do a good job. Perfect. Damn. Oh, that's your victory animation? <laughs> I'm the one for you, right? Abba will have. Okay, what's next? Leo, okay. These are all randoms. Doesn't really matter. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of on themselves, they blame the beasts. There's houses. There's houses. Heaven or hell. Abba, stop it! Hey, hey! A fool who doesn't fear me, huh? Boorish, vulgar, ill mannered animal. I do like an interaction. <laughs> I don't know if that's, like, specific to Leo, but it, it works. Yeah. 
Wins. Ababa. Wins. Duel 2. Let's rock. I kinda love that she goes into her install by like unlocking the opponent with the key. That's that that's just a neat neat like visual. It's fun. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know if I've mentioned this in the video before, but um, this version of Sky Should Be High that's playing right now, it is the vocal track, but you only have to get far enough to start the vocals to start if your computer's taking way too long to load the game. <laughs> it's like, oh, something is wrong with my setup. I can hear the vocal. <laughs> I'll show you a darkness deep. That's a generic life. line from Sato. A brute in sheep's clothing. No reasoning with this one. I feel like Abba may have unique lines for each opponent. Which would be really cool. Because yeah, this game doesn't often do doesn't always do that. But they've been trying to do it more. Ow. Watch closely. I'm looking. inches strong. <laughs> Big fish and small ponds don't have wins. Duel two. Let's rock. <laughs> <laughs> With that obstacle gone, let's talk, dear. We have all the time in the world. I'm not really sure where they're going when in the in the match victory scene. I, like that place. I don't know where that is. <laughs> In fairness, I suppose Elfelt does something similar, if you think about it. <laughs> uh, Axel, you are long range, and I knew that they cannot change my only projectile is an overdrive, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Right, no violence. Hello. I've got you on my radar. Okay, that's his generic talking to girls line. Oh, that's the same line. Oh, I was really hoping. Really hoping Abba was saying unique things. I'm gonna be cool. Unlock. Oh, 
Not too bad. I'm on normal, so I got to keep it hard. With that obstacle to find, let's talk, dear. We have all the time. Uh, Gold Lewis. And stage seven will be random too. Uh, stage seven is only fixed on extreme, uh, and if it is, it's a rematch of the stage one opponent that they want to battle. I say much harder. Extre uh, stage 7 Gold Lewis is on extreme is not hard. <laughs> Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So, I did. so instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts. So for sentence, first come or hell. Whoa! Get a grip, will you? Come and give me all you got. That sounds generic. Here's the right fool for the job. Also sounds generic, but I like it. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, it looks like my attacks are like very slow and methodical. They speed up dramatically when I'm in, in full phase. Making a strategic retreat. I'm boot you with my key. There we go. Oh. What a weirdo. So slow. <laughs> Which again will just be random. It's Nago. Stage 8? Ooh. I don't know who stage 8 is gonna be. I think of a few possibilities. Maybe Asuka, maybe a Valentine. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. Both would fit in terms of like narrative. But it also could be someone just random who just helps. Oh. Who knows? Stop it! Hey, hey! Let us do. Eric Line. Boorish, vulgar, ill-mannered animal. Uh, don't know. Ah, ah, ah. Versus Nagori. It also isn't really accurate. Nagori is very elegant and proper. <laughs> Unlike Baikin, who is, you know, fucking bastard, Nagori Yuki's a very honorable samurai. <laughs> I feel like Abba's kind of a rushdown character, except that she's really slow until you get the installed state, so it's interesting. Oh, 
Oh? Cinematic? Yeah. Oh, that is fucking awesome. Oh, yeah. With that obstacle gone. Okay, boss time. Al felt. Yeah, Valentine fits. I'm curious what this is gonna. Oh right. Cause this is Oh right, yeah. I'm re I'm I'm just thinking about how, you know, Ab has got this um relationship that might need some help and Delfeld is a romantic rascal. So I can I can see how there might be something. Whoa! Get a grip, will you? Hey go. Oh, the two of you walk your own endless wedding aisle. I'm so jealous! Not what I would have said, but alright. We'll send you down the road to death. Versus FL. I guess. Not at all. It's one random attack after another. How lovely! A journey for just the two of you! If only I had a wonderful partner like you were too! It wouldn't mind telling you the secret to your hobby, would you? Sounds like a valid conclusion, but it's actually a non <laughs> I clearly need to reflect. <laughs> to think I wasted all that time practicing cutting my wedding cake. <laughs> Your <laughs> self is mad. Reflection? Reflecting on what, exactly? <laughs> sometimes a weapon, sometimes a lover. Love sure can come in strange shapes, but it's all a beautiful three-legged race you run together! At least you're right about that. Right, dear? Right. Wait. What? <laughs> Whoa, I'm bubbling over with inspiration! Time for a surprise street show to debut my new song! <laughs> Suit yourself. Do as you
you please? Scary? All of you are scary! <laughs> How lively. Scary about elf bones. <laughs> <laughs> Game over. Okay. Um, I think I might go through that arcade route one more time, just because I have a little bit more of a handle on how to fight now, uh, and see if I can get the hard route ending. Very unlikely I get extreme route, but we'll see how we go. That testament. That is testament. They have red ice coast there every year. Not all kids have that though. <laughs> oh my god, rain music here. Mankind knew that. <laughs> Duel one. Let's rock. <laughs> <laughs> me on the more difficult path. Breeze. So it is. Lovely sea too. Oh, so it's in the trailer. My favorite color. So what sea? A blue so clear, you can peer into its depths. Well expressed. I'm talking to Paracelsus, not you. But hard test. How rude, faking civility. Proudly ignorant. <laughs> Apologies. I'll take my leave. <laughs> well, now, this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Paracelsus, you are so funny. <laughs> oh, gee, he really, he really is a talking flower. <laughs> I'm with an upward. <laughs> Okay, Johnny is a zoner, so we'll see how we go. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts. There's Elsa's. Right. There's Elsa's. Heaven or hell. Eek! Abba, stop it! Hey, hey! If you won't be a hero, be the last man standing. Vulgar, ill mannered animal. That kind of fits. <laughs> John, John, Duel One. Let's rock. <laughs> I didn't know he sets his hat off when he's black, so I like that. Yeah, I haven't fought that many Johnnies. That's a rustic speaker that's about to happen, I guess. Yeah, things like charging in like that right away is the best move to have it, so you can get the drink all bit pretty possible. Yeah. 
I did so much more powerful than the other. Hi, Johnny. staying on the ship for the moment. That's me and I can't have fun. <laughs> Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts. <laughs> Heaven or hell. Today. Good for you. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Abba. Lovely. Versus me. She's just got a big. She's also got a very large weapon. But she's got, ow. Oh, I got made dynamic. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts. Paracelsus is right. Heaven or hell. Abba, stop it! Hey, hey! It's all. Hope you said your prayers. Boorish, vulgar, ill-mannered animal. Abba. Abba. Versus Soul. Duel one. Let's rock. Counter. Please, please, please! Let's fight! 
Okay, so since I lost a round there, that drops me down to hard instead of extreme, which probably means I should be fine to get to the end. <laughs> Obstacle hard. Let's talk, dear. Giovanna? 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 I don't know. The, I, I'm pronouncing it kind of the way the announcer does, but I know the announcer pronounces some stuff wrong, so... Mankind knew that they cannot change yeah, society, sure did. so instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts. So for sentence, first capacity. Heaven or hell. Whoa! Get a grip, will you? I will neutralize. That sounds generic. You think that will lead my Paracelsus astray? Ababa versus Giovanna. Duel one. Let's rock. So we're both rush downs with installed stick, but she's also fast, like off the back, and I know. So safe. Hey, my edit is actually really short. I didn't quite notice that. <laughs> yeah, much longer. No, that line just says I'm throwing you when she throws you. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> she's very straightforward about what she's doing. <laughs> okay, stage five is done. With that obstacle. Uh, stage six. The uh, no, no, she has Gold Lewis again. Stage six last time was Gold Lewis. Why? 
I guess it's just random, but getting the same fighter in the same slot twice in a row is an interesting bit of randomness. Man Duel one. Let's rock. Oh, Lewis unlocked. Seven. Kind of like how the jealous rage effect sort of got locked off. <laughs> it looks very silly. Uh, stage seven. Hey, it's Bridget. What you doing, girl? You were in stage two earlier. Maybe she was hanging out with Gold Lewis, and that's why they're in adjacent stages. I don't know. <laughs> Dual one. Go. Let's rock. That's so fast and so slow. Yeah. Unlock the gender. There we go. <laughs> There we go. Hey, she's a harsh mistress, it's true. That's what you get. Ababa wins. Duel two. Let's rock. Apologize when I broke a guard? Oh, sweetie. <laughs> well... <laughs> okay, stage eight. Probably still alpha, but with different story. In a different location because the boss just shows up wherever stage seven was. <laughs> Mankind knows that the nice, bright, colorful Laura Delilaria the sun. Instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts. stop it! My lovey dovey door is pinging like crazy. Can I ask you a few questions? <laughs> Your what? <laughs> Bellfell? She's a friend. FL. My, my. I just want to talk! A fiend! A Oh, relax. She's a sweetie. Such undeniable fighting spirit. Such 
Oh, you're down bad for Elfo? <laughs> oh, I did not see that coming. be husband and wife right dear very informative one day i'll find my other half and we'll <laughs> as just like young you. <laughs> spare no effort you'll need it yes ma'am um testament yes would you mind saving me from this hell i'm in oh sorry i'm only passing through once <sighs> there everything comes through interesting I've heard of such a dreamy place do you think my I'm getting the vibe will heal that they're actually addressing that this relationship is not okay and they might develop into something that's more okay? Maybe? I have a feeling I need to be able to beat stage 9 uh, to see the rest of the story, which I probably can't do with my level of skill with the character I just started playing. Um, fun to play though. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that Dabba. Um, from what I've heard, that's basically the same way she played in um, Plus R, so good for everyone who plays her in Plus R, I guess. Um, her design's really cool. Uh, I'm really curious about the story. I may need to go and look up what happens on Extreme Route because I don't think I play her well enough to get through Extreme Route. Uh, as much fun as I was just having, that is, she is really fun to play. Um, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, hope you have some 
various thoughts <laughs> as I'm having. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, that's about all I got. So, bye. <laughs>